thank you for participating in the Healthy Habits program. For those of you who received a binder, the pages for this session will be listed on the bottom of this video. For those of you that did not, you can access in this information on our website, www.dhfunforkids.com. Just look for the Healthy Habits section. Welcome to session 11 of the Healthy Habits program. For today's session, we're going to look at things that we have learned so far and use our activity as a review for them. It is important to understand that completing lessons and learning things is great, but when we really gain knowledge and improve when we show the things we've learned. Today you will create a public service announcement or PSA on one of the subjects we have learned so far. So let's go ahead and look at today's question to think about. Today's question to think about is this. Which is the favorite health related lesson that you have learned so far? For me, my favorite lesson that we've done so far was about the labels on our drinks. The sweet, this has helped me with the sweet tea that I drink, knowing how much sugar I really put into my body, and has made me change my mind a little bit on how much sweet tea I should drink. So now please take the time to answer our question. For today's activity, we are going to create a public service announcement. A public service announcement is a message to the public that raises awareness towards a topic, an attitude, or behavior and may intend to change the behavior or offer guidance to the public. There is no specific guide to making a PSA or a perfect example of one, as they are different, but we want to offer a small guide to help. Remember that this is a learning experience, and PSAs that are put out to the public or are offered by organizations will have more information and detail. So let's go ahead and go over our guides. So the first thing you need for your PSA is a subject. Make sure that you start off informing the public of the subject of your announcement. The next thing you'll need are some supporting points. What are some of the facts or points that you want your audience to know? The final thing you'll need for your PSA is a closing. A call to action that describes what you want people to learn or once they, once they have heard your announcement. And now let's look at the subjects we can choose from when creating our PSAs. First, we have inform your audience of the five food categories and why they're important. Next, inform your audience about drinks and how sugary drinks can be harmful. Third thing is, inform your audience about snacks and the benefits of eating nutritional snacks. And, the last, and lastly, inform your audience of the importance of understanding your body's hunger cues and learning when to eat or when you're truly hungry. And now here's an example of a PSA. Here is an example of a PSA. Attention everyone, I want you to understand why it is important for you to know what is in your drinks. There is our subject. What we drink is very important to our health. And if you do not look at your labels, you may miss out on key information. Drinking a lot of sugar can be harmful to your body. That's our key points. I want you to know what is in your drinks and choose wisely and healthy options when you grab a drink. And there's our call to action. Now please take the time to create your PSA. Today you were able to think about what we have learned so far and use it to inform the public of an important health public service announcement. We want you to know that the things we are learning in this program are to help you develop healthy habits for the future and create an understanding on how your choices can affect your health. Now please take the time to write on session 11's What I Like About Me page. This could be something you like about yourself, something positive, or something that makes you feel special. For this session, I put, I have good manners. <laughs>